What's up, YouTube? Rusty Spar with RC5 Fitness coming to you live again from my kitchen. We're going to be making some turkey tacos tonight. So let me get everything prepared and I will show you guys what we're going to put in it. Be right back. Okay guys, so what we have is we have a we have some cheese, some four blend cheese. I got the pizza cheese because that's kind of what we like, but you can get the Mexican blend cheese as well. And the macros are not too bad on that. It's 90 calories for half a cup. It's uh, seven grams of fat. You got one gram of carb and six grams of protein, zero fiber. So not too bad. I don't get the low fat cheese because if you get the low fat cheese, they're gonna add more sugar and carbs into it. So I don't do that. Got the regular, just uh, El, old El Paso brand, hard and soft tacos, because some of us like soft, some of us like hard. And uh, it's a pretty, pretty good deal on this. It's 120 calories per taco of the hard shell, and the soft shell are 160 for two tacos for that. So, and then you've got uh, five grams of fat, and then four and a half for the soft. You've got 17 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fiber, so it knocks it down to 15. Plus, you got 2 grams of protein for the hard shell. For the soft shell, you got 4 grams of protein, 27 grams of carbs, and only one dietary fiber, so the hard shell is a lot better for you. Plus, it's a corn product, so it's already been baked already, and you have to pre bake it as well. So, then there's what we got there. We got a regular ground turkey. Turkey's a little higher in fat, it's 15%, but you gotta have a little extra fat in the turkey because it's turkey meat, there's not a lot of fat in it. So they add a little extra fat in it so that it, it uh, fries up really well and doesn't burn. And of course you've got, uh, for four ounces of turkey meat, it's 230 calories. You've got zero grams of carbs and 19 grams of protein, a really good protein source. Then we've got the 25% lower sodium. Taco mix is what gives your meat flavor. You can use as much of this or as little as this you want. I usually use about a half a pack for one of these, uh, and then I just uh, put it in a Ziploc bag for later. And of course, we got some lettuce for garnishments, and we got our cheese, and then we'll put salsa or whatever else we want on it. So let me cook this, get this stuff cooked up. We got to go over here, and we got to preheat the oven to bake 350 degrees. Once that preheats, we'll put our hard shells in there, and uh, then we got to, of course, fry up the meat and everything. So. I will be right back with you in just a few minutes after we get everything prepared. See you in a little bit. Okay guys, so you see I've got um, the turkey meat all broke apart in really small pieces. I'm trying to get over here, uh, over top without <clears throat> causing a lot of steam coming up. But it's just now starting. But you break your, break your pieces up really, really fine. And by doing so, it saves a lot of time when you're when you've got your fork in there and you're trying to break it apart and everybody knows that you know whenever you <clears throat> there you guys are you know when you're trying to break something apart with your knife and you're you're cutting and you're cutting and you know you're banging through especially like if it's frozen I always like to put it in the microwave and uh, so what I like to do is I get a instead of using a fork I use a spatula because you got a longer blade and you're kind of chopping down in there so let me show you what we got going on So see, I can actually pull this apart, and as the meat starts to cook, I can actually get up underneath it and flip it, <clears throat> flip it while it's cooking, and that way you don't have to worry about uh, trying to make sure every little piece. So I flip it, and then I chop down into it and kind of separate everything out until it gets back in that small piece consistency that I just had before. So just flip it chop it up and I usually put my heat on about a seven or an eight by seven and a half or eight so I'm just kind of chopping that down through there and as this starts to cook a little bit what I'll do is I get my low sodium taco seasoning and shake that down there like that all right we're going to just tear this apart or maybe not tear this apart oh I need to start working out hold on a second oh scissors yay Make a little snip there. All right, so tear that open. So what we're going to do is we're just kind of going to shake this out a little bit, just a little bit at a time. Like I said, I use about a half a pack. So I'll, I'll do about a fourth of a pack there, and I just kind of set that off the side. 
Now I just kind of mix this up, just kind of mix it around, stir it around a little bit, kind of let it coat the meat. It's really easy and quick to do this kind of a meal, especially like if you just want to ground up some turkey meat and you want a little flavoring. Low sodium taco season, if you like that kind of taste, you can do that. I've got several other kinds of, uh, of uh, seasonings that I use here. Let me get this stirred up a little bit so it doesn't burn on me. Because I've got the heat on high, so our, uh, our uh, stove is now at 350 degrees, so I'll put the taco shells on there in just a few minutes. But a lot of times, let me reach up here, I use this lemon pepper seasoning. It's really good. I use garlic powder because it's really low in sodium for uh, a whole fourth of a of a teaspoon or tablespoon of this is like less than one gram of carb and zero calories, zero fat. Uh, just a little bit of sodium in there. Then I also use uh, some, I've got some Italian seasoning that I use. So if I want a spaghetti type flavor, I'll do that. Uh, this is another kind of just a generic, it's a little more ground up. So you'll get all those leaves and stuff. Then I've got like this uh, roasted garlic and herb. It's really good. Like if you want to use hamburger meat or uh, you want to use some ground chuck or something. It really gives it a good flavor, like you want to do like a hamburger steak kind of thing. It's really good. Or chop up like some stir-fried beef. And of course, then you got your old pepper there, you know. So, but that's what I like to use a lot of times. Oh, this is boiling on me here. Hold on a second. Let me go ahead and get this all stirred up a little bit here. So we don't burn the meat. We gotta chop it back down. Remember, when you flip and stir it, you gotta kind of chop it down. Make sure you keep this stuff chopped up. Plus, it gives you more serving sizes, which I really like to do. Oh, that's getting on my nerves. Let's just take that, all that rat-a-tat-tat. So, you know, you just chop it up. The finer you chop it up, the more you can eat. So that's all the bonus. But, like, you know, like if you're just kind of by yourself, or there's just kind of, like you're cooking for two. I'm cooking for four right now. So, and there's five of us, actually. But uh, Emily's not here right now. She's uh, living in another city right now. She was going to college, and now she's just kind of working. So hopefully she'll get back on the college train and want to finish up. But uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> that's her row to hoe. I've got my row to hoe. You've got your row to hoe. We, you know, we try to guide our kids, and sometimes they want to kind of take their own path, and that's okay. They will learn their lessons just as we have learned ours. And it makes us better people. So, you know, there's no right or wrong way to go through life sometimes. Sometimes you just kind of got to go through life on your own path and, you know, and figure out what's right for you sometimes. And um, hopefully that, you know, the Bible says train up a child in the way they should go. And when they grow old, they won't depart from it. So hopefully, you know, what we've taught her will, will make a difference one day. So... All right, so we got this cooking right now. Let me pan the camera over here a little bit, and I'll get it on the other side of the oven here, and we'll get those uh, get this taco, this taco pan going. Let me put this over here so you guys can see what's going on. Let me check the camera, make sure we got a good shot of the carnage that's about to happen. So, you know, a lot of times, what I like to do is, I'm, you know, you guys, um, let me get the camera up here because I'm talking to you, and it's kind of, ridiculous not to uh, you get the camera up here to where you guys can see me. Let me see here. You know, a lot of times hey, I'm, I'm doing the intermittent fasting. I'm also doing a protein shake nutritional plan that I have. And uh, if you're interested in that, hit me up in the comments below. Uh, you can contact me. Uh, the website, by the way, is almost available. It's not ready yet, but uh, rc5.com is coming available. It's not out there yet, but it will be available. Um, very soon, uh, probably by the end of April, and that's what I'm, I can't wait to see. Uh, and uh, so we take our little taco shells right here, and we just open them up. And once I get these laid out here, we'll come out here. But I intermittent fast, and I do some, um, I do protein shakes after my lunchtime workout. I break my fast after lunch. So now we've got our. Uh, we got our taco shells all laid out here. We got our we got our oven at 350 degrees. Let me zoom in there so you can see that. Okay, guys, sorry about that. My battery died, so let me stir this meat just a little bit, and uh, so we don't burn it. 
can't eat tacos or burnt taco meat, you know what I'm saying? Let me chop that up and then we'll get back to the, uh, whoop, almost escaped there. Whoop, got some escaping. Oh no. Um, I'll make sure that we don't uh, lose any of our little meat friends here. All right. Oh, damn it. All right. So, turn that down just a little bit. So, anyway, what I was saying was, let me put these in 350 degrees here. You see that I'm not lying to you. 350 degrees right there it is. So, make sure we get all of this where it needs to be. All right. All right, guys, here we are. We're back. All right, so we got the meat. You hear it sizzling up. It's doing really well. Um, I don't use a lot of low fat. We do sometimes, but most of the time with the end of the meal, uh, end of the day meal, we don't because we've fasted till like noon or one o'clock, and then we do our workout, and then we break our fast with a shake, and then we eat a couple snacks, maybe have another shake later. So we're in a low caloric de deficit, so low, low caloric deficit, say that fast three times. Uh, and so at night we can splurge a little bit. So uh, the low fat stuff, if you're on a cardiac restricted diet or a cardio diet, you know, on a low fat diet, that's okay. It's great. It's wonderful. Go ahead and do that. But uh, for us, we don't do that because we don't have that to worry about. But whenever you're taking fat out of a product, what you will do is they will add they will add sugar, hidden sugars in there, like like sugar alcohols into the uh, actual food. So you won't even know that it's there. But if you really read and you see like the sucrose and the dextrose and the out, and it'll say alcohol, sugar, or uh, in there. So and there's several names for it out there. Can't bring them to my mind right now because I'm kind of watching this food. But there are sugar alcohols out there that they use. And products and so that being said you got to really read your the back of your, your boxes and stuff so um, but uh, we'll, we'll do another video on that another day so but we use you know most of the time full fat or low fat stuff but we don't use you know fat free because fat free it's not really fat free there's still a little fat in there they, they can just hit a certain percentage due to FDA regulations if they're like one or, down to one or two percent, they can say it's fat free, and it's really not fat free. So you're being lied to, folks. But um, there's nothing that's really truly fat free. And if it is fat free, then it's actually genetically modified. It's a GMO, a genetically modified organism. So that's a lot of technical information for you right now. So this meat is just about done. So I'll be back with you guys in just a few minutes. Talk to you guys in just a minute. I don't want my meat to burn. You gotta have my meat. Okay, guys, we've got everything prepared, so let me show you what we got. We've got our tortilla shells. We've got them nice and warm. We put the soft ones in there just for a couple minutes after these were done. 350 degrees for about, you know, 8 to 10 minutes. And then we cut the heat off, of course, and just put these in there for, oh, about a minute or so just to kind of get them nice and soft. And we got our turkey meat there, which is, like, super awesome. Check that out. Check that out. Let me see. Taste test time. Mmm delicious it's awesome and dinner's ready and I'm gonna spin the camera around on my family I'm just kidding <laughs> no, I'm just kidding we came from a funeral today and we're all just like totally trashed so we're all like oh very tired my aunt passed away so please pray for my uncle Travis his family him they, they lost his wife after 35 years so sad so please pray for them for comfort anyway we're going to devour all this you guys have a great evening, and uh, again, Rusty Spa from RC5 Fitness, and we will see you guys later. You guys have a great day. Make sure you pray for somebody, say hello to somebody that you don't know, and make a new friend. Talk to you guys later. Bye.